Hello everyone and welcome to our lecture series on principles of accounting or financial accounting and I am your instructor Jamal Haider. Today we will start a brand new chapter which is transaction analysis and our first learning objective is explain what a transaction is. So let's further explore that. So business activity is all about transactions. So a transaction is any event that has a financial impact on the business. So what do we mean by financial impact? It means it can be measured reliably. It means you are like it's reasonably sure that you can have a monetary value because we have a financial impact, have a monetary value and your judgment is very reliable on that one and provides information about an exchange uh, which means uh, for example a company sells a product to a customer and receive cash right so company give product and receive cash so every transaction at least has something to give and something to receive and accounting records both sides of the transaction another example can be uh, that when a company pays for advertising the company is giving cash and receiving advertising so let's go through with further examples of what a transaction is so we can have a company named whole food market in incorporation which purchases fresh uh, produce, meat, and natural supplements. When the company purchases, it receiving something, receiving meat and natural supplements, and paying cash. Sales product include. Receiving cash and giving product. Borrow money. What's going on here? Borrow money. When comp when 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 Whole Food Mart Corporation borrow money, it receives cash and create. liability because you have to pay them back for some future in cash increase and receive and liability increase as well right repay loans you pay cash and you decrease liability right so accounting records both receiving and giving or paying or decreasing increasing or decreasing both sides of the transaction our second learning objective is define account and list and differentiate between different types of accounts so let's explore that so we know that that the accounting equation is Assets is equal to liabilities plus stock order equity. See, account means it records all changes in the particular assets, liabilities, or stock order equity during period. <coughs> Sorry. So, the account is basic summary device in the accounting. So, the account for assets include cash account receivable not receivable and what are the definition of assets we already covered in our chapter one that it's economic resources that provide future benefit so most firm use the following asset accounts cash account receivable and notes receivable and cash include 
money including the bank account balance prop paper currency coins certificates of deposit and checks while the account receivable it means a promise for future collection of cash from the sale of goods or providing services it means account receivable are your customers so in, in accounting what do we mean by cash cash mean all the cash that is currently in the bank in the form of paper currency that you hold in the form of coins in the form of checks and certificate of deposit as well account receivable means your customers notes receivable means that you receive a promise for the future collection and customers signed a note with interest rate so example include that you sell your goods to a customer for example customer mr a and mr a said i will send you money back in 6 months with 1 person interest right so how you believe that he going to pay you back so mr a has a some kind of this voucher in this name for example mr a's company is x y z there going to be a amount written and there going to be his signature with 1 person interest and date right so it's a normal business practice in which you basically you sell your goods and customer will pay you after 3 3 months or 4 months and then customer can say that okay i'll pay you 1% interest on that one 2% or 5% and he gave you some kind of a note with its business name and with its signature that is called notes receivable the other accounts for assets include inventory prepaid expenses land so inventory which is often a company's most important assets so the product it sells to customers so other name of this inventory is merchandise or we can say that uh, merchandise inventory so it are these are the goods that customer sells to customers but uh, due to the end of the accounting period it's you know it's uh, the company is not able to sell the goods so company records this uh, number of goods in its monetary value under the account of inventory merchandise or merchandise inventory what is prepaid expenses the prepaid expenses that are expenses that are paid in advance such as insurance or rent so the rent is your, is your expense yes insurance is your expense yes but you paid the rent for the whole year or 3 months in advance right so since the consumption of expenses does not occur the the consumption of expense does not occur right so in that case you did not receive the full full benefits of that that expense so that we categorize it as assets because it has future benefit for us what do we mean by land land includes cost of land used in operation right so land account it shows the cost of land the company uses for its operation let's go further let's move further so the other accounts include in asset building and equipment furniture fixtures what do we mean by building building means the cost of buildings used in operation right so it includes the buildings of the factory of the head office under your possession right so we call this uh, we record this under building account equipment fixtures and furniture this account include items such as computers it will be included in equipment so the fixture include heating air conditioner 
and the other account that we will use for the assets textures and furniture for its you know the loss of value due to its usage we call this depreciation so even though they are reported on the balance sheet in one amount they are tracked in separate accounts as well right so for example there are three accounts one for equipment one for furniture one for fixture but we add all their sums value here and we put under one account so that doesn't mean if you see the value of two million and you are now just confused at how much is the furniture how much is the equipment on the back end there is a working that shows that how much is the equipment how much is the furniture and how much is the fixture